Well, my mission here today is to actually replace that turn signal, and uh, specifically the cruise control switch on it. It seems to be not working. So, of course, you've got the steering wheel here. You've got to get all this on off with the uh, with the uh, you know covers, uh, steering wheel, airbag, and um, you know, there's a, a bunch of different things here to take it apart. But first, just to show that you're you know, to diagnose the, the, the problem. I can press this button right here and do these two things. And while I do that, I have my vague.com here. All right, so if I'm hitting the, uh, the accelerator, I can excel, I can decel, but when I turn the main switch on and off, no effect. So uh, I know I've got a bad uh, switch in there, and, and that's the reason uh, that I'm going to tear this on apart. So. Um, of course, you've got the, the airbag, uh, the steering wheel has to come on off, uh, the clock spring, and uh, then you've got the plastic housing that up here, and then ultimately um, you've got to do some things to get uh, your hands on uh, pulling this thing on off. Uh, I think I'm going to break this video on up into separate parts because, uh, I don't know, if people, if they're just looking to swab out the airbag, they don't care about watching the whole video, so. We'll, I'll probably make very short, uh, simple videos on, on each each of the segments, so you can watch whatever you want to watch. Um, so that's it. So I'm going to uh, first start on off with the uh, disconnecting the battery. Uh, whenever you take the airbag on off, you want to uh, disconnect the battery, let it sit for about uh, five minutes. Uh, there's actually a battery within the airbag computer, so that's like step number one. And uh, and then really. Uh, uh, getting this this airbag off is uh, uh, pretty simple, um, but you wouldn't know it looking at it. Uh, and I'll and I'll walk you on through. Okay, step number one is to remove the the airbag, and uh, it's it's kind of neat how it's configured. What you have to do is turn the steering wheel on up, and if you have a little compact mirror, you might be able to see it where there are, and it's not very well lit there. Let me just put a little light on it. All right, this is the best I can do here on the back side. That, this is, is the back side of the steering wheel, and there's a little tang there on a piece of metal. That's like, this is that, that uh, top piece there. I, I mean, I've got my hands all tied up here. I'm barely uh, able to hold all this together. That top metal shiny piece is, a, is really just a, a wire that loops around a little tang. And the idea is, is you have to push that, that wire loop off that tang so you have to drive it towards the, the steering column because there's a, it's just a little tang. So you've got two of those tangs. You just use a simple screwdriver to pop that, that off. Um, so very straightforward. Uh, I, like I say, I've got one hand holding the flashlight, one hand holding the camera. And a, I've got a mirror there, uh, which is what you're looking at, uh, held in by a wrench. So um, I think if you just, like I say, turn your turn your steering wheel, uh, you know, 90 degrees, you'll get one on on each side. So if you uh, pop that tang off on side number one, pop the tang off on side number two, that steering wheel will come on off. So that's it. I'm sorry, the steering uh, column airbag will come on off. All right, so I'm going to use my screwdriver here and stick it on in there and rotate it. Pop one side. And go ahead and turn it now the other way. I wish I could show you what I'm doing here, but I think you get the idea. There's, you just rotate and pop that spring off there. Pretty straightforward if you have a mirror. You'll know exactly what to do. I should, guess I should grab this thing. And that's off on that side. Just double check this side again. Feels like the other side just pop back on, on and it did so okay we'll take it. and that 
That's it. Alright, so we're going to pull this on back, there we go, that is, and let's see if I can hold the camera here while I'm doing this. So the first thing we want to do is just pop that on off. The other one down here, which is a very straightforward connector. It depends on too on what you have for your steering wheel controls as well. You know, there's a tang on there. I'm trying to push that tang and pull that connector on off. And it comes off. Alright. Pretty straightforward. Got the airbag off. Next thing is, of course, the steering wheel itself. Okay, I have my 12 point on there. By the way, this is a 12 mil millimeter, 12 point. Just sticking on in there. Yeah. Of course, go ahead and loosen it on up. Let us see if I can do this. On there pretty tight. I actually put some uh, block tight on it. That's why it was a little bit on the snug side. By the way, I've had this apart before. Okay. Now, let me take the camera here. On here, you'll see that they, let me zoom in if I can even more here. Yeah, there's a mark. There's a mark on your steering column shaft and there's a mark on your steering wheel. Make note of that mark. You want to put the steering wheel back on the same place. So, um, so make sure you make note of it when you take it apart. So, pretty straightforward though. I mean, the steering wheel. I can use both hands to pull the steering wheel on off and uh, that should pretty much take care of this stuff. Alright, okay. All right, so right now you have complete access to everything. Uh, the next part is we have to take this plastic housing on off. Plastic housing is uh, actually held an, a hinge back here and there's two snap clips in front. So all you have to do is take a screwdriver and pry it right at these openings right here. I guess I should do this side first. Just be gentle with it. You don't want to break the plastic. That's one side. And this side. Alright, All right. so you'll see there's little hinges, little snap clips, and there's metal retaining clips on the back side of this, so that's pretty much all you have to do uh, with this part. And of course the next step is, is we need to take these, these uh, Torx bits, uh, screws off, and uh, disassemble the rest of it. So uh, let me hit the pause here for right now. Alright, we gotta like, go ahead and got my socket here, loosen these things on up.
comes off. <laughs> 